don't know, Jimmy Carl's not in favour at the moment, but... I like Jimmy Carl. He's alright. Do you know him? Yeah, I know I know him because he's a Gemini, so I know, he, I know his soul. Right, okay. <laughs> in an astrological level. Uh, an astrological level. He posted a question the other day on Twitter, nature versus nurture. Mm-hmm. I don't understand the question. <laughs> so it's it's like is is it is the environment that someone grows up in? Is it what's yeah? It's it's like our genetics stronger than than your environmental influences. Like, can you? I think it's like, can you override your genetics, or or is it you know your environment that creates who you are, or is it your genetics that? who you are right okay yeah and which one's most <clears throat> important and can can one be stronger than the other why are all these questions which is most important why is everything binary yeah why that's is true black actually and white? I, I, because i do think and i know it's yeah i do think it, it is a total mixture of the two i think i think i mean you can't ignore twin studies which have shown um proven the genetic theory but also I think, you know, I, I do think, I do think that they're both very, just as important as the future there. Don't you think since Brexit we've been obsessed as a nature with which is best, A or B, which is best, yeah. chicken or chips, which is best, <laughs> yeah. Tuesday or Friday? Why, why does one have to be best? So nature versus nurture, for me, the way I look at it, right? So you've got a big block of rock mm -hmm. and you've got a big block of soap. Yeah. And that's your nature, whether you're born a rock or whether you're born a bar of soap. Yeah. And then if you try and carve out a president's face mm -hmm. into the rock or the soap, that's the nurture. That's what that's what you're adding to what, the what, thing what there is, yeah. which you, with which yeah that yeah. you're starting with. Mm -hmm. And for example, probably soap's a bad example, but a president's face carved onto rock is going to look better. And the president's face carved onto very liquid soap yeah. bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, when I first started working with clients, like in a therapeutic context, I, I did really. I was really against the genetic thing. I, 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 I thought, you know, like a lot of it is is nurturing and the way we're brought up in our environment, and that it doesn't matter what genetics you've been given. Like you can you can overcome them, and I do still believe that. But sometimes I think you have to work work harder than than others, you know. But I do think a lot of behaviour is is learned as well. But then, you know, like when I see Bertie's face, like already, and it's not that he's learned from you because he also sees sees me even more than you. But his facial expressions, his mannerisms, you can see already, like the way the way you know. When he pulls certain faces, it, it is you know you. So why do people g go to Facebook and, and look for the binary on this? Why is it not just? Of course, he looks like me because he's got my DNA yeah. in him. I think it's because people want to know that you know that, that you have. We all want to know that we have some level of control over our experience. I think, and I think that's empowering. And I think whenever people are searching through the beliefs, they're just looking. For that empowerment, I think, or that sense of freedom, or a, a, an excuse to not do something well. I can't lose weight because I've got because I was fat, born this way. Because I've got fat genes. I've got big bones. Yeah, I'm just big boned. Yeah. When 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 you know putting on weight is is just a you know it's just a mathematical equation. Yeah. If you so, if you eat less than less than what you need, you will lose weight. So it's just so don't we just look for excuses all the time? I think we do. I think it's just about people. You can either create beliefs that empower your life and, and support the vision of yourself that you want to create, or they can disempower you and give you excuses so that you don't live up to that potential. I think that's ultimately what, what it get, gets down to is, you know, do I want to use this as an excuse or am I going to, you know, use this as an, oh, I've just had a realisation. <laughs> If you, I think if you believe strongly enough, you can override your, your genetics. But I yeah. think it, but some people do have to work harder than others. I do think some people just have more of a negative, pessimistic, 
pessimistic temperament. Bertie, for example, he's just so smiley. He's the smiliest baby. Like everyone comments on that. That's his temperament, isn't it? And you see it in dogs, breeds of dogs. Like they're all dogs. The different breeds of dogs aren't they and the different temperaments some are more aggressive some are softer so that's nurture because they say there is no such thing as a bad dog there's just a bad owner I... that's purely nurture mm. that's blaming I... it i think that's no I, I i i think that there are a more aggressive dogs out there well, there are... well i think so yeah <laughs> yeah that's why certain dogs are banned so that's certainly nature. Like a blue, like blue, uh, is it blue stuff? Is it a band? I don't know. So you can have a really aggressive, you can have an aggressive Jack Russell crossed with the golden retriever of the toilet paper adverts <laughs> if, oh. if it's been kicked and abused whilst it was growing up. So that's purely nurture. Mm. And you can have a very well manned but, but No, but that temperament will decide how that, how that reacts. So for example, you have two children who might have been brought up very, very similar, but one was born, and again, this is where how astrology comes into it. I think like that person's been given a born at a completely different time, you know, completely different nature. So one can become the most empathic, loving, loving, compassionate, you know, human being there is, and the other one can can respond to that abuse and become okay. a narcissist. So before example. the time runs out, you now have to choose. You've got the choice. Oh, you can choose. I have to choose. Yep. Yeah. That you were born three nil up, as we say, great genetics from good blood stock, mm -hmm. or you can be born without all that, but an incredibly caring, loving, nurturing environment. That one, yeah, the <clears> environment, <throat> positive environment, I think. Or and I've just fallen into that trap. Why have I again gone for the binary option? <laughs> Why is everything about because it's, it's since Brexit, Laurie? Really Since like Brexit, people have had to be Everton or Aston Villa. No, I agree with you. It's created more. It's created racism. It's created sexism. It's created problems that aren't even there. Like the amount of things that have been banned for no reason. It's it's, it's got ridiculous, hasn't it? What's been banned? Just loads of different things. Books, you know, statues taken down. Like just it's just all got too much. Like like everyone. It's like you're not allowed. I don't know. I, I think it's too much. Well, we've done democracy, haven't we? Yeah, we have. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Do you know the people who tore down the statue in Bristol were found not guilty of tearing down the statue that they tore down in Bristol? Why? <clears throat> because the judges or the magistrates, I think it was judges, decided that it was actually okay to tear it down because he was a slave trader. Hmm. Which was not the offence, it's not whether it was okay to tear it down, it's did they tear it's, it down. It's the laws, isn't it? Yeah. In, in, in that I think this is where populism it's populism it's has actually invaded our legal system now. Yeah, and, and it's not, yeah, it, it's not okay. Like, we, I, I do think though, we, we've, I, I don't know, I know what you're saying about the binary thing, but then I think we're becoming more, you know, where people are afraid to share their opinions now. And sh afraid to share that. You know, Do you really? Know? I see the opposite of that, honestly. Really? I see people sharing opinions of which they've got no blooming factual it, it, backup. Yeah, but everyone's getting. Um, yeah, yeah. Can, and you, we're guilty can you give me now. an example? Yes, Jack Smith, who's never studied politics in his life, is suddenly an expert upon Brexit, upon Boris Johnson, yeah. upon global warming, upon the EU tariffs, upon. Whether Russia will invade Moscow, won't do that, obviously, because it owns it. You know what Oh, I mean. we should do that one next. Will he invade or not? Or is that a bit mean? Who's will he invade? <laughs> will he invade? Is that one of it's... your DVDs? No, it's probably one of yours, Matt. Because <laughs> I don't do things like that. 